All right, the first thing I do is just go ahead and do my initial cut. I feel behind this fin, look for the soft spot, that's where I enter. And then I follow their head around. You can feel the bone in there, it's, it's hard. And come all the way to the front, you gotta get that head meat. That's the claw right there, that's yummy. That's good stuff. Then I just do an angle cut down to the anal fin. Go in through the back, follow that backbone all the way down to the tail and then go all the way up to the very tip of the head where that claw is at. And then I go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. I find it a lot easier to go ahead and do as much stuff while the fish is whole than to try to do it after you take a fillet off. It's just a lot easier to manage in my opinion. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Go in. Cut all the way up, get that claw, then follow the backbone down to the tail. All right, now we're gonna open it up and then open it up, follow those bones all the way down to the spine. Once you get to the spine, you can just do a nice quick cuts both ways, get the head meat off, and I separate the meat from the spine, and then I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, it's just easier to manage. Go in, all the way down, get on all that meat, separate the spine, all right, now that we got them both opened up at the top, go ahead and break through down here, cut through, get, the, and then follow these bones down through the other side. I go ahead and cut the skin there. And then once you get see or start seeing the stomach area, I go ahead and stop. And then I don't mess with the belly meat. I just follow the rib bones all the way down. Yes, I waste a little meat. I'm aware of that. I just personally don't think it's worth it to try to get a couple more bites of meat. There it is. Nice pompano filet. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Cut through. Open it up. Follow those bones. Cut through the other side. Get to that belly area and let your knife do the work. You don't have to force it. I just kind of let the carcass stay on the table upright like that and just kind of peel this filet back while I follow those rib bones all the way down. There, nice and clear. Got most of that meat off. All right, got your filets with the head meat. Got to get that claw in there. I go ahead and clean them up. There's a little Bone still here with some belly juice. Cut that off. Other fillet looks good. But these fillets still have pin bones in them. You can feel them in the middle with your finger. Just follow it up until you can't feel them anymore. And then do a cut on one side. And you're trying to take the center section off. So cut. make sure you cut away from it so you get the bones when you take it off. And then just take a little sliver out the middle. All the bones should be in here. Give it a good feel with your finger. Make sure there's nothing left. I got kids, they don't wanna eat bones. And that one's done. Same thing over here, follow the bones up. Do a cut. And then a little triangle piece out of there. This side's being stubborn. There you go. Just a little sliver out of there. And I leave the skin on. I find it easier just to leave it on. If I fillet this off, it, pompano skin's a pain to get off. I end up wasting a bunch of meat. So I leave the skin on, cook it with the skin on. If you don't want to eat the skin, you can take it off after you cook it. It comes off pretty easy after you cook it. And two nice, beautiful fillets ready to be eaten. Pompano is awesome. Actually got a couple more already over here. 
be sure to check out my other videos of me fishing the beautiful waters of the Florida Panhandle. I mostly fish around the Pensacola area, whether that be in the Gulf or inshore in the bays. I try to throw some tips in all my videos to help you all out. Thanks for watching and take care and tie lines.